Hey what's going on guys, today I came up with a really cool thing. I'll show you how you can add this liquid transition hover effect with your image in Elementor. So here I basically used two different images and when I hover over on the first image, you can see it changes to the second image with this nice liquid transition. And if you want, you can also change the type of animation from the Elementor settings. So without further ado, let's see how can we make that. Ok so before we start I wanna mention that I really get the inspiration of this effect from this github repository which is made by Robin Della and also some really talented developers. But this is basically a javascript library so that means normally you need to write some javascript code to use this hover effect. But I decided to convert this library into an elementor widget so now you don't need to write a single line of coding. All the things you can do by using this elementor widget where you can get all the controlling options. Ok now to use this widget first we need to go to makedreamwebsite.com slash liquid hover effect and from here you need to click on the button and here put your name and email address then a plugin zip file will be automatically sent to your email address and from here you can install and activate that plugin. Ok I already have installed that on my site. So right now I want to go to the pages and from here let's go to this page and here on this page I want to add this liquid transition effect. So after installing this plugin on the left panel you can see a new widget has been added which is this liquid hover. So let's drag this to on our right side and here is two options to upload our two images. So let's upload our first image and also upload the second one. Ok so right now if we hover over on that image you can see the image has been changed to our second image with this nice transition. And you can also change this transition from this hover effect option. So right now it's default if we make it to this stripe. Now we can see this stripe animation or we can make it to the parallel and it's also an another animation or let's make it to water okay this is also looking great but i want to make it to the default one and after that from the link option if you want to link up this with an url you can also do that from here and then let's go to this style option from here you can do some styling so if we make the width to a particular width like 450 pixel okay you can see the width has been decreased and you can also change the alignment from here if you want to make it to left or center or right you can also do that from here and here are some additional options like the opacity or stasis filter or border or box shadow okay here i want to make some rounded corner so let's make the border radius to 10 pixel okay now you can see this rounded corner which looks great so now if we go back to again to this content here under you can see the option animation so from here you can also control this animation like if you want to change this intensity if i make it to a really high value 0.93 and now if we hover over on that okay now you can see this animation looks more intense and if we make it to again a low value like 0.1 okay now you can see it is less intense I want to make it to the default 0.3 and then here is the speed option so from here you can control the animation duration so if you make it to a long value like 3 okay now the animation duration has been so long then from this angle option you can also change the angle of this animation so right now if we hover over on this image you can see our image has been comes a little bit from the left side okay so if you want to change this angle like if you want to make it to 45 degree and now we can see our direction has been changed to this direction cool right so right now let's check this on our tablet and mobile devices so from responsive mode if we go to our tablet so it looks okay from here and on mobile devices 
I want to place this image above this text here. So let's go to the section settings and let's go to the advanced and from the responsive option. I want to enable the reverse column option for only mobile. So let's turn on this. Okay, now so this is looks better. And here the responsive option is also available for this widget. So if you go to the widget settings and go to the style. Here this responsive option is also available for the width of this widget. So if you want to change the width of this only for mobile devices, you can also do that. So let's again go to the desktop device. And here lastly, I want to show you another thing. So if you duplicate this section and let's go to here and here I want to change those images. Okay, now if we hover around that image, you can see for our second image, this look a little bit stretched. So this is happens because here our first image and second image don't have the same aspect ratio. And here for our first example, this is not a problem because here for our first and second image, we have maintained the same aspect ratio. But if we use two images with different aspect ratio, that's a problem. So basically this is a problem of this GitHub repository. So now to solve this problem, we need to make these two images to the same aspect ratio. So now if we use one square image, our other image will also have to be square. Or if we want to use a 3 by 4 ratio, we also want to use the same ratio for the other images. So now if we go to our folder, here are these two images. So now I want to make this images ratio to the exact ratio of this image. So for this, let's right click on here and go to properties and from this details option. Here we can see the dimension of this image is 1920 by 1271 pixel. So right now for this image to make it to the same, we need to go to a website called photopia.com. And here let's open our other image. So from the file, let's click on open and click on this and go to this crop option. And from here, I want to select the fixed ratio. And if we again go to our folder and go to the properties, we need to put the exact same value at the ratio field here. So this is 1920 by 1271. So let's write down this value here and click on outside. Okay, so you can see the image has been cropped here. And you can also change the crop position. So I want to crop this portion of the image. So let's click on the confirm button. And now to save this, let's click on file and export as this a JPEG image. And here make sure to keep the quality to 100% to keep the exact quality of this image and click on save. Okay, now we will replace that image with our second image. So let's go to our page and here let's replace this with our newly cropped image. And now if we hover over on that, now we can see our second image looks perfect. And lastly, let's click on this update button to save our work. And lastly, I want to say that if you want to learn how to make this type of Elementor custom widget, then I have a plan to make a full paid course on that. So let me know in the comment section if I should make this or not. Basically, when you are working with a client project, sometimes you need to create a very specific and customized things. So in that case, custom widget is really very helpful. You can create anything without any limitation if you have the knowledge of creating a custom widget. Okay, so that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on my next video.